Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's more Vikings. Which one, Dan? We're on to episode 13, Two Journeys. Yes, we are. Previously, Ragnar was forced to give up his Valhalla treasure so that he can get a small crew and go back to England. On top of that, Ashlig decided to have herself a premonition at the worst possible time. And Bjorn is on his way to Italy. Yes, he is. Skull fam, enjoy. I don't know how you got out of that, but you did. I see Ivar's fine. I cannot see any of our boats. Mother was right. Almost. That's right, she said you were gonna drown, and you didn't. So, father, what are we going to do? I don't know yet. Then you better make up your mind, because all this is your fault. You made a sale here. You took money. Get out! Just regular patrols now? Can't be too careful. No. Forget that thing. Just crawl. With this, I can walk like a normal man. <laughs> yeah, he's done. <laughs> All day, what do you try to be normal when you never will be? I am! <laughs> <laughs> I think that was necessary right now, but okay. <laughs> no, you're not. Once you realize that, that is when greatness will happen. Mm. Except to you, I'm going to move on. Well, so much for my idea of him finding a way to walk. <laughs> Sorry, fam. I didn't know that was going to be, like, dying so fast. Oh my god, already? I guess, cool. there's, I guess there's no avoiding it. They know where they're going. Are you going to try and contact Uncle Rolla? I'm curious to see how he looks, because it's been ten years. rollo has been busy. Those ships look much better than the ones you had to begin with. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, my own people. That's so funny. Ah, it's just the great Ragnar Lofbrok acting like a nurse to a cripple. <laughs> He's just a man. I don't know what you're Aethel Wolf. Yes. Yes. We find Ragnar Lothbrok! Yep, that's his flag. Don't do anything stupid, Floki. I've never done anything stupid in my life. But I am contemplating whether dying would be better than dealing with this scum. <laughs> <laughs> this is my wife, Princess Gisela. And our children, William, Marcellus, Selsa. Well, there's a William for you. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's on Floki's level, all right? Yeah. I want to go here. But I have to sail along your coastline to get there. I need safe passage from my fleet. In return for what? In return for not attacking your villages and towns. Floki, shut up. It's not much of a bargaining agreement. May I take this? No. Really, Rillo? You have 60 ships outside your ports, full of Vikings. Don't you think they will come knocking soon if we don't return? I think they might. Yes. Oh no, there's a child out there. Switching wild No. Yeah, stop. I do have an kiss. Oh, don't go too far. She can practically see him. Switching world, not Such an innocent child. Jeesh. So close to death. He wouldn't harm a child like that anyway. No, he's too good for that. No, he had a daughter himself. I didn't come here to go back. That is why we can no longer travel with our friends. It can only be you and me. You mean an old man and a cripple? Yes. I'm sure he's fine with that. Gives him a chance to have just some father-son bonding moment. Sure. They're all training for something here. Mm-hmm. Mm. This business with Oslog. She's gonna attack? I'm taking Kattegat back. Mm. <laughs> you called it. What about Ragnar's sons? Björn, Fitzuk, and Iva are all gone. But Uber and Sigurd remain. Are you going to kill them too? If they get in the way. Tovi. 
Torvi? A slave girl. Margaret. She was being used by the sons of Ragnar. All of them. How did she get here? I don't know. Oh my God. You're doing this right now. Okay, yep. when everybody's sleeping. Perfect. What do you want, Krupa? Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, he's good. You don't have to kill me. You can have this. Oh, so you can't do anything with it. God damn. You handle that easily. Man, he was just down there. Yeah. We totally believed in you. How could you ever think you can do business with Rollo? We should have attacked his fleet. At least we could have fought and died like Vikings. You guys are idiots. You're so quick to judge. Mm -hmm. This is why you're not going to be good rulers. Do not disappoint us, Sirenside. Not like you can do anything about it. How good to see you again. Looking a little more gray. Yeah, you are. Look like English Jesus here. <laughs> Ragnar has returned. He came with a fleet. Sorry. Judith! I didn't mean to interrupt. Good to see you. Yep. How do we know that we are going in the right direction, father? <laughs> this looks unnatural. I was long this year. <clears throat> do what you gotta do. What are you trying to accomplish here, though? I don't know what the plan is. There's, you got no play. No. It's just you two. You wish you had never brought me along, right? And I bet you wish you would have killed me when I was born, just like you wanted to. Only when you talk. <laughs> I thought your legs were a weakness. I was wrong. You're like a, a deaf man whose eyesight is sharper than anyone else. Good way of putting that. You are special, not in spite of your legs. But because of them. I love the way he sees the world. I think that's the first time you've ever admitted to being wrong. It'll never happen again. <laughs> ah, not having legs made him made him a lot sharper, though. Yeah. The Strabo map of the entire road network of the Roman Empire, of which your own map is but a mere fragment. Oh, okay. You can see that the empire was all built around the Mediterranean Sea. Started here in Rome, went here into what is now known as Saracen Spain, a Muslim caliphate. You're spot on with all that. Mm -hmm. Will you give us safe passage along the Frankish coast? No. Okay. Why not? Only if you allow me to come with you. That's well, part of the action. Man misses being a Viking, huh? Yeah, singing castles all day is boring. <laughs> come on, donkey. <laughs> Look at these two. <laughs> They're bonding for real here. Mm -hmm. What is it about you? What? Well, you do not seem to accept the verdict of the gods. You give the gods too much credit. Good point. It's his life to live. I have had your children, and they are not Viking. And if I thought they were a Viking, I would kill them before killing myself. Oh, jeez. I cannot deny that part of myself which is still Viking, no matter how hard I try. <sighs> Perhaps you don't try hard enough. What do you have to bitch about? All right. If you go away, this will probably be the end of us. Whatever. <laughs> it was an arranged marriage anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and may the gods be with Bjorn. And our brother, Vitsek, wherever they may be. Huh? Skull. 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 Been a while. Magret has invited you here because she loves both of you. You will have to decide amongst yourselves. Unless you decide that you can share her. They've already been doing that. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Okay, so how you're gonna do it? Well, he's disarmed. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> hey! Let us out! Well, they're out of the way. All slogs on her own. That is true. Oh my god, they're taking him up. Well, I guess he didn't have much choice. It'll be good to see Rollo in action again. <laughs> they're so miserable with their kids. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame him for getting away. <laughs> I need a break from this whole <laughs> lot of people.
What are you gonna do? No, not this. You gonna drag him under the barnacles? Oh. You serious? Yeah. Look. Oh. It's yeah. just gonna cut him up. I think he knew this was gonna happen too. Oh my god. Uh, that's He's not as violent. Drown. That's not as violent as I thought it was gonna be. Right. I thought they were gonna grade him like cheese. I think they're just holding him under. Pull him up! He's making sure he feels the full force of it. No, he's okay. <laughs> yeah, see, look at his back. Yeah. He's bleeding. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Rolo's like, I still got it. Yep. I'm still a man, alright. He just walked right in. Where's everybody? Well, you're gonna have to do something about that. You can't just let people walk into your town like this. They come from all directions, too. Yeah, they are. You guys are surrounded. Ah, the Viking ways are back. Time to shrink this town a little bit. Unless it's necessary to kill people here, but... Well, these are warriors. Ah, training did come in handy. You still need more training, though. Yep. Come on, Ashley, get together. Well, I mean, they could surrender. I suppose. Good lord, there's that vision. There we go. There you go, good old shield wall. It's gotta be annoying when one shield wall clashes against another. Right. Now they all just stuck here. Torvi was helping you along, okay. Mm. Oh shit. Yep, y'all are dead. Mm, Ragnar's sword. Good, I'm done with you having it. We should give it up or fight till the end. She's not gonna fight. Your father was supposedly a famous warrior, right? Yeah, but you've never seen her do anything. These are my people. Yeah. Well, what's left of them? That's what I'm saying. He just went and killed them. Oh, they're right outside the... <laughs> Made it all the way there. All right. Carrying Ivor. <laughs> Once we get inside, we will be separated. No matter what they do to me, you have to act like a group. And then they won't feel threatened by you. Mm. I'm gonna watch you being hurt. Sounds like a good plan. He's ready for it, it sounds like. Mm hmm He'll be the witness of the last act of Ragnar Lothbrok. Archers! Oh, uh, calm down, guys. Ain't no threat here. It's an old man and a cripple. What are you worried about? Yeah. No! Oh, he's gonna leave us there? You can't leave us there right after Kattegat got overthrown. I say, what happened in Kattegat? Why do you keep doing this? You just want us to come back next week, don't you? Fine, we'll come back next week. So I'll be damned. Lagertha, in not too long of a time period, put together her army and went into Kattegat and handled them. And it was the right time to do it, too, because with Bjorn taking the taking most of the men with him to the Mediterranean. They only had a, a small force there. Granted, it was enough to hold them in place for a little bit, but Legatha knew what she was doing. There was no problem. Not only that, it sounded like Torvi was working on the inside for you there. Mm -hmm. And she also brought uh, Margaret mm -hmm. to come and seduce the other two brothers that were remaining. And now they're captive and not a threat. They're not a threat for now. I don't know what happens after this. If you let them go and you're going to eventually have to, you are not going to be friends to them. <laughs> That's for right. sure. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to work out because I have to imagine they're going to feel a certain way about you deposing their mother as queen. To be fair, Bjorn never uh, Bjorn never took any strife with Ashlog there. Mm -hmm. So maybe the brothers could learn a thing or two from this. Assuming assuming Lagertha doesn't 
kill Ashlug, but I mean, how, how else is how else is that gonna go? I get the feeling she's not gonna be satisfied just walking off to the woods somewhere. No, she, that woman's used to luxury. Right. So she's used to a certain way of life, so I don't I don't know what the plan is here. Maybe she just gets held hostage. Maybe offer her a trade, let her have your earl and earldom, and you take Kattegat. I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt Lagatha is going to cede power of any kind. Here. You're probably right. She's now, she's now, uh, what does this make her? This makes her a damn queen now if she's taking this place, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, there it is. <laughs> Hail to the queen. Yes. Presumably, yes. We still have to see it happen, but yes. We'll take it. Hail to the queen. <laughs> I don't see any other way that's going to go. Mm -hmm. Lagatha's your queen now, so. But also, uh, we have to, we have to talk a little bit about, uh, Ragnar and Ivor here because they had survivors in their company and they've gone and off to them. Yes. Honestly, it was the right call. Some of these guys were constantly bitching Ragnar's ear off and they're probably going to betray him at the first chance they get anyway. That's the thing. Realistically, there's a good chance that one of them was going to stab you in the back. Sure. If not that, you're going to be found out by Eckbert's men who are probably just going to slaughter you all anyways, in which case you wouldn't even have a chance to say anything to him. Yeah. You know, the only way you're going to get as far as you did was by traveling with this small company, the two of y'all, and going straight to the city. All you needed was somebody to row the boats. Pretty much. In the grand scheme of things. I guess, I guess it's worth giving up your treasure to greedy people that were willing to go. Mm -hmm. But now I'm trying to figure out, you know, what is Ragnar's actual plan here? Because we were thinking, okay, it's going to be an assassination thing. But it sounds like he's pretty much just going there to let Egbert finish the job. Seems like it, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else is going. What else could possibly go now, because he's... He's discovered. They got him at the gates there. Mm -hmm. They got no weapons. He actually put his weapon in that hay bale there. Mm -hmm. So and the other thing I was, I was thinking too, because we've been seeing all these characters come back that we hadn't seen in quite a while. Whatever happened with Magnus and his mother? Quinthrith is dead. We saw her get right. But what happened? By oh, that's right. Okay. Well, where's Magnus though? Because Magnus was still alive. Well, we haven't seen the. Uh, we haven't even seen what's the other kid's name? Arthur or whatever? Alfred? Alfred. Alfred. Yeah. We haven't even seen Alfred either. So, yeah, they're all 10 years older now, too. Mm -hmm. For all I know, they killed Magnus, and Alfred's off wearing priest robes somewhere. I don't know. I mean, it's a possibility he did go to Rome, but... I don't see Judith doing that. I don't see her making a priest out of him yet. I don't either. And we know, historically, Alfred's supposed to take the throne at some point, so... Yeah. Besides, Alfred is, uh... Oh, God. Oh, uh, Athelstan. Yeah, Alfred is Athelstan's, uh child still mm -hmm. so she's not just gonna like abandon him to any particular way that he doesn't choose right the priest would be very befitting for him fitting yeah you know, but still but well, what i'm most curious about is what's gonna happen with uh buren here now i hadn't thought about it but he was right rollo when he was talking about you know the trip getting to the mediterranean you had to go through saracen territory you're gonna be encountering a whole new faith that you haven't seen before muslims yeah who are going to be hostile to any christians to begin with which you happen to have a Christian man on board, and probably not going to be too happy with the Vikings either. Because they have a Christian man on board? Well, no, just because the Vikings are raiders. Because oh. they're sitting there saying, okay, we have to make it past France, but once you get past France, eventually you're going to need some supplies. You can't just make your way all the way around, you know, Spain and Portugal without picking up some supplies at some point. And you're going to have to go through, whatchamacallit there, the Strait of Gibraltar. Strait of Gibraltar, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's good. Which, which is all Saracen territory, and they're not just going to let you waltz on through with a whole fleet. I don't know. It depends on how uh, how much they drop their guard here, you know? Maybe, but I imagine there's going to have to be some conflict there at some point. I'm curious to see what happens with that. Vikings didn't come to not have conflict. Right. They came to have conflict, so right. that's why they brought 60 ships with them. I'm so. sitting here thinking you're trying to make your way to Rome. you got to deal with some people before you do that. Are they really trying to go to Rome? That's a foolish thing to do with just 60 ships. You're going to lose some along the way, presumably, so... I don't know. You don't think you're just going to walk up into Rome and raid them, do you? Come on. Why not? It's been done. He might have other intentions. Did he mention Rome specifically? I know that Rolo was talking about that when, when deciphering the map for him. Mm -hmm. Was that what Buren wanted, though? I think he just wanted to go and go and see what new wonders li uh, lie in the Mediterranean. Right. Well, I mean, if you go across the Mediterranean at some point, you're going to run into Italy because it kind of sticks right in the middle of it. I know I get that, but I don't know if he intended on going to Rome. Well, I think you're right. He's probably not going to Rome specifically, but I think he's going to run into it. And now that he's aware of it and aware of their history with the Roman Empire, I'm sure that's probably piqued his interest. Yeah, considering that they were the most technologically advanced for a while. Mm -hmm. So, certainly. He might, who knows what you might learn there that could actually benefit your own society. Sure. Or you could capture yourself a, a nice, juicy pope. 
somehow. Yes, I suppose you could. And say, hey, we have your holy man here. People of France won't be too happy about that, but yes, you could. Yeah. We want 80,000 gold pieces, and you can have them back. We want 80 tons of gold and silver, yeah. They'll do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> They'll give them all the gold and silver to get their guy back. I'm like, Probably. Come on, you're just going to choose another one once he dies. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see what... Uh, what becomes of it next? Now, the good news is, is they've got Rolo on board, so they've got safe passage until they get there, mm -hmm. uh, which means they can kind of plan their next move easily. So Hopefully, too, Rolo has some knowledge of these other lands. Because, you know, you, gotta have, you have to imagine that they've had some experience with the Saracens. They know what they're getting into, and they can give them that information to help them out. I'm sure they do. And I'm sure that was the whole point of bringing that guy in from Paris, mm -hmm. is to give some information there. But he's been a learned man now for 10 years, so I'm sure he's picked up a thing or two. Yeah. I mean, he certainly learned some new languages. I don't know how much he's changed his Viking ways, but... No. Well, I mean, he wears fancy clothes now, so we'll see. Good we'll see. Andy. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Fam, I think we're going to call it quits there for now. By all means, uh, if this is your first time with us, guys, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. Also, if you feel like supporting this channel further, please consider becoming a member and joining up with us, guys. It's not required, but we would love to have you. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Skull fam, Skull Dan. Skull Joe. Later, guys. Later.